Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Aman and you are watching Let Him Code. So today I'm going to discuss about a very common and a very easy problem from array's topic. It says to find the duplicate elements from an array. Okay. So from the word itself, it's very clear that we need to find out the elements inside a given array which has occurrence more than once. Okay. So for example, seven, it has occurred more than once. So this is something duplicate, right? and 4 which has occurred thrice so the occurrence of the elements if the occurrence is more than once that means that element is a, a duplicate or a repeating element we can say right so in this array if you see carefully we can see there are only three elements or three integers which has occurred more than once okay one is the seven the other one is four which has occurred thrice i think yeah and there is one more element which is three which has occurred twice right so only these are the elements which has occurred more than once so we are trying to return these elements okay so this is the expected output from our program now uh, we can see this output is uh, not ordered or sorted if you want to do that we can also uh, sort that out okay that we can do later on after writing the logic so uh, this is all about uh, the input and output of the first case and if we see the next case which is uh, if there are no such element which is you know occurring more than once so in this array if you can see uh, there are no such repeating elements right so the frequency of all the elements here is one okay it's not more than one so in that case we should return minus one or we should simply print minus one i hope the problem statement is clear and let's move into the code now you can see that I have taken the same array here that I have discussed in the problem statement and 7, 3 and 4 are the desired outputs because these are the only uh, duplicate characters present in this array, right? So let's move forward. Now uh, if anyone is new to Eclipse and don't know how to uh, create a new class or create a new project, okay? So uh, you can watch my uh, previous video that was made for static keyword and you can see how i have created a new package and uh, sorry a new class and a new project okay so you can go and check out there and come back so uh, coming back to this solution we need to use an hash map here so nothing to panic i'll tell you how to use an hash map and why we are needing a hash map here right so let's declare that first hash map of integers of course map equals new hash map okay and then we can see there is one uh, red underline that means we need to import the package and it's imported here so now we have declared the hash map so let's uh, understand the concept first okay so hash map has hash maps usually have keys and values okay and in the keys section we are going to uh, store the elements one by one okay so if we go through this we can see 7 has uh, the first index or uh, sorry the 0th index right and first index so before 7 there is nothing in the hash map so it's empty so the first the first value which will come is 7 so when we are uh, entering a value for the first time what we will be doing is we will be initializing the frequency or the value of that uh, element as 1 because we have just initialized it okay so then again the loop will run and we'll see that what is the next element if the next element 7 is present in the hash map okay then we will be simply increasing the frequency by 1 okay so we can see that 7 is already present in the hash map so next time where we are trying to uh, input the same element in the hash map so we are doing nothing just we are increasing the frequency okay frequency will be under the value section in the hash map please remember that thing okay 
so the updated value will be 2 similarly 8 will be having 1 okay we can say this values or frequency okay so this can be called as frequency or values now then again 4 will be having 3 right and correct correct 3 will be having 2 yes correct so this is how uh, we are going to uh, in input the values in the hash map okay so i i i, I guess uh, it's understandable now so now let's do the code so let's create a loop here int i equals 0 i less than array's length of course because it has to go till last and i plus plus so the first condition the first condition will be if that map already contains that particular element okay so if map dot contains key has that particular element array of i in that uh, particular array's index if the element will be present and if that element is already present in that map then what we are going to do is if you can recall just now what we have seen we will be increasing the frequency by one okay so this is how seven has frequency two one plus one so map dot put in map dot put the first thing will be the key or the element okay and then and then corresponding to it will be the frequency right so how to get the frequency we should do map dot get of uh, that element so what it will do is uh, it will fetch the uh, current frequency of this i okay so considering that uh, this condition is true this map condition is true so if you can understand this this condition can only be true if there is already uh, that particular element present in that map right so if that element is already present at least uh, there will the frequency should be one okay it can be more than one but uh, the least and the must have frequency should be one okay so for that we are getting this frequency of that first so that we can add on that frequency right so what uh, i will get from here is map dot get uh, arri this will give me the current frequency okay current frequency of that element now after getting that current frequency what we are going to do is we are going to increment this with uh, by one okay so like this the so same thing we are doing here by one now this is the first condition okay we cannot say first or second this is one of the conditions and then uh, else if uh, this isn't true or any other condition is there we are not bothering about that we will simply put that uh the element and the uh, initialize the uh, frequency as one for that okay if that is not present in that map okay as we have discussed before so map dot put we are going to add the element arri in that position and since we don't have that uh, element inside that uh, map so this else part is for a uh, condition where we are trying to put that element for the first time for the very first time so since we are doing it for the first time so we will initialize uh, the frequency or we can say we can initialize the value with one correct done so now this is how we are creating the hash map so till here okay till here what will be what we are doing is we are creating this hash map this hash map has been created now okay 
now 7 has values uh, 2 8 has value 1 4 has value 3 or frequency 3 so now from seeing this hash map we can see that 7 4 and 3 these three elements okay are having a uh, frequency more than one now we can simply check that if that value is more than one okay if seven has value more than one then return seven or print seven if value of four is more than one then return four if three has frequency more than one then return three like that we are going to do so how we are going to do this uh, i'm writing the code for same please follow with me okay so now up till here addition is done okay or yeah addition in hash map is done okay now we are going to traverse through the hash map and for each and every key we will check that the value is or the frequency is more than one or not so how we are going to do that we have to use an entry set okay and a for each loop of course so let's create a for each loop here and see how to do that okay so we will be using entry set so entry will be of integer type so integer comma integer and let's take a variable called var here and then it will be of map dot entry entry set yes so uh, in some ides or in some uh, browsers or some coding platforms whenever you are doing uh, might be entry is not recognized if this is not recognized and you are getting some error like uh, um, entry is not uh, declared or something like that okay then simply you can use map dot entry like this okay since in most of the times in the browsers or in the coding platforms we are not uh, importing the packages right so uh, at that time we can use map dot entry okay to make the compiler understand okay so we are not going to do this here or rather we are going to import the package okay so this condition is nothing this for loop is just for uh, looping or traversing through this hash map okay that we have created okay now we need to check for each and every uh, element each and every key if the frequency is more than one or not okay so how we are going to do this we will check if fair dot get value okay now what this get value will return it will return these values these values okay this two one three two okay corresponding to this keys okay so please don't get confused here okay so where dot get value and what we're going to do here is check if it's greater than one if this condition is true then what we're going to do we're going to simply do print okay for now we are printing because uh, we are not using any coding platform we can simply uh, print in the console okay we can print where dot uh, get key right so uh, what we will be getting here is we will be getting the uh, element which will be having frequency more than two, one okay so this is how we are getting the desired output okay let's not print in on the next line let's print with a space on the same line okay so it's more easy to understand let's save it and let's see so we can see three four and seven is was our desired output okay so we are getting 
the same thing so now this case is handled the first one okay when there are uh, duplicate characters but what if uh, there are no duplicate characters like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 in that case what it should return it should return minus 1 right so let's see this this condition as well so here uh, let's take some non repeating set of elements inside this array so let's take 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and uh, to understand this uh, or to uh, do this actually we need a boolean variable so let's take that boolean is duplicate equals false okay so initially we will keep this as false okay now this uh, duplicate value false now this will only be true if at least there is one duplicate value that means at least uh, this if condition is satisfying at least once okay so let's uh, do one thing here we can say is duplicate equals true like this we can say right now that means uh, if there is at least one duplicate value then minus one not will not be returned okay now at the end of this uh, entire code if uh, this if loop hasn't been uh, hasn't been you know taken into the picture at least once that means there are no duplicate values and we can write one if condition here that if uh, is duplicate false then says out minus one okay let's run it yeah we can see the output is minus one here because this has this array has no duplicate elements now and again let's do it for duplicate elements three 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 four five six six seven seven okay so here we should get two six and seven right so let's save it and run it correct so two six and seven so that's about this video and if you like this please uh, put a thumbs up and be with me for more such videos thank you see you in the next one bye bye